What's up guys? Welcome to The Breakdown. So here's a move I've been using to help with hand balancing. What we're working on here is this posterior chain. So what you'll notice first and foremost, obviously the ball's up here. The back of my hands are pressing into the ball. That's gonna get that back part of the shoulders to work. So we're trying to stress this whole back line here. It's a great way to work on your hand balancing without constantly being on your hands. You give your wrist a break. You give that loading of your shoulders a break. So from here, you're gonna notice I'm arched and probably too far out. So I should be a little further back with my feet and notice that arch here. I'm trying to work on that. So you're gonna draw your belly in in this position. So you pull your stomach in while pressing your hands into the ball here. The next thing you'll notice is that we're coming down on our heels. So put the heels down and then pressing the heels off the ground. Now you can't see it from this angle, but my heels are pressed together. By pushing your heels together, you get the glutes to work as well, or should I say activate or whatever term you guys wanna use. When you squeeze your heels together, that's gonna get that posterior line to work. So while pressing the heels together, while trying to draw this in, while pushing the back of the hands against the ball, that's gonna help with your line. And that's one of the hardest things with people with hand balancing is finding that line. So you see here, I'm trying to adjust my ribs. I don't realize I'm flared out. <laughs> uh -huh. Not until I've watched this video and worked on it a couple of times, but that's the beauty of constantly filming yourself. The other thing you wanna look at or notice is that you can't see it from this angle, but I'm trying to close the gap between my ears and shoulders. So you wanna maintain all these points of tension. You wanna maintain all these areas, the key points that you're trying to work on to again, help with your hand balancing because one of the things with practice, constant hand balancing practice is you put a lot of stress on your wrist, a lot of stress on your shoulders. And so this is a great move to kind of deload yourself, but still work on the mechanics you're gonna need to have a good handstand or work on good hand balancing. Again, notice I need to work on this area a lot more. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please put them below. If you'd like other videos, inbox me and I will be sure to do a breakdown for you. Talk to you soon.